before I started going, I did have fears like everyone else, like, does it hurt? And just having anxiety over having needles poked all over my face and all over my body. Excuse my voice because I am kind of congested. With my first acupuncture experience, I chose a Chinese lady. I did look at reviews beforehand, not specifically about her, but just for any acupuncturist nearby. And I feel like everyone has different feelings about it because they either go and it helps them or they go and then maybe they get bruised or something hurts and then they never go again and so they never actually get the healing benefits that comes with it and so I didn't really want to base it off of a Yelp review. Yes, I do have really small veins and yes, I did bruise on some points which is totally fine because it didn't actually hurt so I went in for my appointment. She spent about 30 minutes asking me a couple of questions, feeling my pulse. And so I went there with a lot of symptoms. I wanted to treat my anxiety, depression, stress, insomnia, and fertility because that was after I had found out I had PCOS and I wanted to get my body ready to start having children again. And so I asked her if that was a possibility because there are many people who go there for fertility and for, before IVF treatments and stuff like that. I also went to get treated for back pain as well. I did about 15 minutes laying on my stomach. So she put needles around my lower back area and also like up my spine, which was the first time I actually had a needle really hurt. It felt like she put it in the middle of my spine and made my whole body like, yeah, that was kind of painful. Then I would turn around and do another 15 minutes laying on my back where she would put needles around my head, my wrists, and one in my chest, and around my feet. I stopped going to her because I kind of noticed things were a little bit unprofessional. And during my first session, I asked her how much it would cost, and she asked me, oh, what's your copay? Isn't it the business's responsibility to check my insurance and to check how much I should pay, and not really the patient's responsibility to do that? I told her, I think that's $20, and so she just charged me $20. So I had three sessions with her. I noticed that each time I went, before my appointment, she never never asked me how I was doing. She never asked about my pain level. She would just automatically take me in and then just put the needles in at the same spots that she did the previous time. My third time there, she had asked me, oh, so you're having headaches? And then before I could answer no, she put two needles here and that's what actually caused me to have a migraine the rest of the day. So then I stopped going to her. <laughs> when I was reading other people's experiences, going to acupuncture. They did mention like, each time that they went before every appointment, they would get their tongue looked at, they would get their pulse read, and the acupuncturist would ask them a lot of personal questions about their health, like their bowel movements, their period, how they slept, their energy level, and stuff like that. So that's what I was expecting and it didn't happen. Later on, I was looking for a different acupuncturist. This one I actually based off of really good Yelp reviews, so I went to her. And sure enough with her, before each appointment, she does do all those things. Some things I found really interesting is one time she looked at my tongue and then she asked me if I drank green tea and I was like oh yeah I did and then she told me she could tell from my tongue because I'm not actually supposed to have green tea apparently green tea has cooling properties so I can't drink green tea alone even if I'm drinking it hot my body was really cold and so I wasn't supposed to eat or drink any cold things she advised me to do only hot food or warm foods to make my body warm make sure my blood is flowing make sure my uterus is warm <laughs> so yeah she said to add cinnamon or ginger or something to the green tea if I needed to. And there are other times that she could tell from my pulse that I didn't sleep very well the previous day. I think I went there with four hours of sleep and she asked me if I was having trouble sleeping. I was like, oh no, I just had to wake up early because I had to go help my mom deliver flowers for Christmas. Very interesting what they can tell from your pulse and from your tongue. So I've been going to her every week and she solved my lower back pain problems within maybe two or three sessions. And so the difference with her when treating my lower back pain, she wasn't putting needles in my lower back. She was actually putting them in points like around my stomach area and just around my whole body. Actually, the first couple of sessions with her was kind of interesting because she would squeeze points on my body to see what was tender and that's where she would put a needle in. And then that made me realize how many sore spots I have all over my body. I think she must have put at least 40 needles all over my legs and then my abdomen area a couple on my hands and then a few on my head and my ears <laughs> and none of the needles hurt so that's really good <laughs> and so my first time there I was still having issues with having a long cycle I think I might have been on day 34 and still waiting for my period to come and so she was actually putting needles in points that would make my period come and regulate my cycle and make it normal again and she knew that I wanted to be able to have kids and work on that fertility and make my body better for that and so I almost feel like she's just a godsend because she 
she cares so much about me. She asked me a lot of questions just to make sure of certain things. And so after I got my period, then we started to get ready for this next ovulation cycle. And so she gave me these herbs to take, the Jade Moon Phase 2 under 35. So I was supposed to take two of these twice a day. And don't quote me on this, but I think it's supposed to help your ovaries produce a good egg and make sure that you ovulate pretty much. If you're really curious, I'll link down below some information on what it actually does and all the ingredients and stuff like that. So I've still been tracking my basal body temperature and that's how I figured when I would ovulate. During this cycle, it was actually Mike's finals week and so it was really hard to get him in the mood to do anything and so I wasn't actually sure that I would get pregnant this cycle just because of that. But as I was tracking my basal body temperature, I did notice that it was rising and it stayed high. So things were looking good. And so after my ovulation, I started taking these, J Moon Phase 4. So I did skip Phase 3. Sometimes you can skip it and then just go straight to Phase 4. It's supposed to, I think, help build progesterone and help build that uterine lining to make sure that the egg implants. I started doing Moxa. So it's this stick that you burn at different points of your body. It's supposed to stimulate blood flow circulation. I don't really know, but if it helps, then it helps. <laughs> it would just have kind of stinky smelling smoke and I'd burn out the top of my hand right here, a point on my leg, and also on my big toe. And I wouldn't recommend doing this unless the acupuncturist tells you which spots to do because the spots are really important. I've read for later on in pregnancy, if the baby's in the wrong position, burning it at the pinky toe would actually turn the baby around. And so right now with the new year, I actually switched health plans and so my acupuncture isn't covered. Before I was paying the $20 copay and I was supposed to have 20 sessions a year and I switched over to Kaiser. I think Kaiser has their own acupuncture, but I haven't actually looked into that yet. But I want to continue going to her because she knows me and she cares about me. I've got to say that out of everything that I've tried these past couple months while I was on disability leave, acupuncture was pretty much a miracle. I mean, I did physical therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy for my first three or four months. And I felt like none of it was helping me improve. But just one or two months of acupuncture, I feel like myself again. I don't stress out. I don't really break out in rashes from anxiety anymore. I feel really great. I have high energy level. I get good sleep, so I don't really have insomnia anymore. I would totally recommend acupuncture if you're in pain, if you're having mental health issues, high stress level. Acupuncture really helps you to relax. Have you ever done acupuncture? Have you been thinking about it? Or do you have any good or bad experiences about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and if not, let me know why. You can click over here to subscribe to my channel, or you can click over here to watch my previous video. Bye!